In this video, we're exploring the process of enhancing your trading workspace within Trader Workstation. TWS not only offers fantastic pre-made platform layouts, but also allows you to create and customize your own. I'm going to show you how to tailor your workspace to perfectly match your trading style. So let's start designing our layout. So when you first log into Trader Workstation, you'll be given this standard setup. This setup is fully customizable. You'll notice on the left-hand side of the bottom of the platform, there are tabs. Right now we're clicked on Mosaic, which is the standard layout that TWS offers. And then of course you have your classic TWS layout, and then a couple more that they provide automatically. You'll notice this plus symbol to the right. We're gonna go ahead and click on that, and it will bring up this box. Here you can see that you can create your own custom layout, or you can choose from the layout library. Let's do a quick walkthrough of the layout library before we do a custom layout. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit browse. And what you'll see in here are a bunch of different layouts that Trader Workstation has already provided for you. So if you're an options trader, you can start with this options layout. If you want short-term chart trading, or you want a stock scanner, or long-term chart trading, or FX trading, or maybe you just want a news layout. You can go ahead and choose from any of these. Now, if I clicked details on this options trading one right here, it'll pop up this window. In this window, it's going to tell you what this layout has in it. So it'll show you the tools that it has. And then if you want to hit this right arrow over here, it'll take you to the next layout that they offer. And again, it shows you the tools that it has and it gives you this little description at the top. I'll go ahead and hit the right arrow again. We can see that this layout has a one minute chart, a five minute chart, time and sales, a watch list, and a bunch of other things. So just for the sake of seeing what this looks like, we'll go ahead and choose this layout here. So I'm gonna click add this layout. And this will populate the layout from the layout library. Now I can go ahead and customize this one if I want to, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just build one completely from scratch. So I'm gonna go back down to this plus symbol at the bottom of the screen, and I'm gonna create a new custom layout here. So we'll call this our awesome layout and we'll hit create. Now this is a completely blank canvas, so you can do whatever you want to do with it. I'm gonna walk you through just some standard things to add to your layout, but of course you can do whatever you want with it. So first things first, we're gonna go up to this new window tab right here and we're gonna click that. This will issue a drop down menu where you can choose all kinds of things to add to your layout. We'll go ahead and add a chart. So I'm gonna to go to where it says advanced chart right here. And this will bring up a chart onto the layout. Now, what you'll see is once I've added something to my layout, a grid appears in the background. Everything you add from here on out can be snapped to the grid. So I'm just gonna go ahead and adjust this chart a little bit, and then we'll just keep adding to it. So I'm gonna go back to new window and I'm gonna add market depth or level two. This will show me all of the orders that are sitting out on the exchanges. Then I'm gonna do it again, and I'm gonna go to time and sales and add a time and sales window. This will show me all of the orders as they are going through. And then let's go ahead and add a watch list. All right, so now I need somewhere to actually place my orders. So I'm gonna go back to new window and I'm going to bring up the order entry window. And I'm just gonna place it down here for now. We can adjust it later. Now I want a window that shows me any orders that are sitting out there to be filled or have been canceled or have been filled. So I'm gonna go back to new window and I'm gonna to go to order management and I'm gonna pick the orders one. Now that will bring up this box here. And what I can do in this one, right now I can see all my orders, but then I can also bring in trades. I can bring in the summary for the day and just have an area to kind of monitor the orders as they go through or they sit waiting to be filled. Now, let's say that I'm an options trader. I'm gonna go back to new window and I'm gonna choose the options chain. So that will bring up the options chain and I'll just drag it down here for now. So I've got one more little area over here that I need to fill out. I could put news, I could put a scanner. We'll go ahead and choose the scanner and I'll go back to the new window. I'll go to the drop down. I'll go to scanners and I'm gonna choose the mosaic market scanner. And from here, I'm just gonna pick US movers from what's moving today. I'm gonna to go ahead and hit done and I will bring this over here. And I can go ahead and adjust it so that it fits my liking. So this is a good starting point for our layout. 
we can go through and we can adjust things so that maybe they look a little bit, bit better. Maybe we give more room to the options chain. We make the chart a little bit smaller. Maybe we decide that we don't need a scanner over here. So we put a market chart over here. You can mix and match to whatever you want to be seen. You could have the top all charts and then just an order window at the bottom. But as you can see, it's fully customizable to what you want it to look like. Now in the upper right hand corner of all of these windows, what you'll notice is a little link button. So there's a little chain link right there and you'll notice that it's green. What this means is that anything that is green will be linked together. If I go in and I change this to a different color, it will be part of a different group. So if I go in and change this to red, then when I change the stock that I'm looking at on anything else, so on this chart or uh, in my order entry window, this one will not change along with it. So if I want them to all change simultaneously, they need to be the same color. Now this feature is really good if you're having two side-by-side -side charts and two side-by-side -side order windows together. So I might have DAL here and then I might have CCL on the right-hand side. And when I switch each of those, it would switch whatever order entry window is attached to it. So just know if you want everything to change together, the color needs to match. And I'll show you what that looks like right now using the watch list over here. So we have the watch list on the right-hand side. I'm gonna go ahead and type in Tesla. And when I do that, you'll notice that Tesla populates in all of the other windows as well. This is what we want to happen because when you're on a chart and you decide you wanna place an order, you wanna make sure that you have the right order entry window connected to that. Now, one other thing that you'll notice on all of these windows is that the upper right hand corner has this little settings wheel. So each one of these is customizable. If I go in to the time and sales, for instance, I can click on the time and sales, I can go to settings and I can change it to whatever I want to show up in my settings window. So there's a bunch of different options in here. I can change what it shows me and I can do that with all of the windows on this layout. And that's a general overview of how to set up your own layout in Trader Workstation. Again, it is fully customizable. You can do whatever you want with it. But if you're having a hard time setting up your own layout, remember that there is a library of layouts that you can choose from to get started. And even those are customizable. So you can start with one and you can adjust it as you see fit. If you have questions while setting up your custom layout, be sure to hit us up in the comments. We are happy to help you get your layout up and running to your liking.